I'm going to talk to you about um, the central idea and objective summary, learning objective. So the two vocabulary words that you really need to know are objective and subjective. Objective means that your writing or speech or whatever it is um, that you're working on is not influenced by personal feelings or opinions in considering and respecting facts. So you take out whatever emotion or feeling in regards to the subject and you try to really focus on the facts and the truth um, about that topic. Subjective is the opposite of that. So it's based on or influenced by your feelings, tastes, opinions, subjective pieces of writing or speech um, are very opinionated. The feelings and emotions of the author are very evident in a subjective piece of writing. So I am going to use the text, the 9-11 Address to the Nation, and it's by George W. Bush, Bush the president at the time. Um, the first thing that you want to do is obviously just read and annotate the text. And while you're reading the text, um, stop at the end of each paragraph and write down the main idea of that paragraph in your own words. It's really important not to use the words from the text. You're not quoting the text. You're just processing um, the information in your own words. So um, I have done that with this text and there were I clumped it up into six paragraphs notice that there's room for ten but obviously add more if you needed to but I just put those um, main ideas from each paragraph kind of in those boxes so after reading and annotating the text think about what is the central idea so in this case what would what was George W Bush trying to share with um, the American people. And I believe that he was saying, in spite of these terrorist attacks, America is strong and ready to seek justice. Then you just kind of take this next step here. So using the title, author, and the central idea that you just wrote, create a topic sentence for your objective summary. So the 9-11 Address to the Nation by George W. Bush encouraged Americans that, and here's the central idea, in spite of these terrorist attacks, America is strong and ready to seek just, justice. So now you just kind of put everything together, um, combine your topic sentence, so you're just copying and pasting this, um, with the main idea from each paragraph. I'm gonna say, and write a concluding sentence to create your objective summary. So here's the topic sentence that I already shared with you. That's gonna be the first sentence in your paragraph. And then all of this information that I have in here is just word for word, these sentences that explain the main idea of each paragraph, okay? It's important to go in order. So paragraph one uh, talked about um, how terrorism has gripped America and many lives have been lost, but we still have hope. And then you copy and paste your main idea from paragraph two. Okay. Then the last thing you need to do is just have a concluding sentence that kind of wraps up what this paragraph or this text was about. So this speech by George W. Bush both consoled Americans and spurred them on to fight for our freedom. That is how you kind of determine what the central idea is of a piece of writing and how you write an objective summary.